Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So looking at a total of two different storm systems um, through the 2nd of March, both of them look to be major storm systems. Let's talk about the first one. So the Wasatch, you've got 15 to 30 inches coming between 226 and 227. It's going to come down pretty heavy. 227 is going to be a big powder day. Tetons, one to two feet. 226 to 228. Colorado, very similar, although the numbers in Colorado have trended down just slightly because the speed of the storm is a little bit faster. I'll show you that. There's still some disagreement out there. Strong wind comes in 226 and 227. And the Pacific Northwest and BC, you're going to benefit big time from both storm systems with major accumulations um, between the first and the second storm system. So we'll look at all those numbers. In the northeast, uh, light snow tonight into tomorrow morning. And then again, some additional snow on 228. All right, here's what uh, the jet stream is going to look like. Forecast jet stream. So that's the, the jet by the end of today. Now watch what happens. Tomorrow, we're in waiting, and here comes a storm system approaching California. Here comes the merger of two different storm systems right here. So like I was talking about this morning, the, the northern branch will buckle to the south. The southern branch will also start to merge with the, with the northern branch, and both of them will be carrying energy. We'll get a west-northwest flow for a period of time. So there's a lot of elements that are going to come together for this uh, this major snowfall, 226 and 227. Here's 227. You can see the storm. Now, this morning, here's the difference. This morning, we had more of a trough sliding through Colorado. Now, there's less of a trough on this particular forecast, and that would mean the storm's a little bit weaker as it slides through Colorado and uh, a little bit faster. Now, that may not all, that may not be the case in the end. This is just a trend for this this afternoon update. We could easily slide back into the you know into a deeper trough. We'll see. Here's 228. So the next storm's loading up. There's a bit of ridging over the Intermountain West until that gets here. Here it comes on 1 and 2 of March sliding into California, and then eventually that would slide right into the interior. But both storms come out of the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. Big time totals up there as a result of that. Let's put some moisture on all of this. So, all right, let's slide into tomorrow. Here's 2.23 in the morning, dry, a couple of dry days just waiting. So Southern Branch, Northern Branch begin to bring in their their energy and then they start to merge right here on 226 end of day here comes the heavy snow line it's already breaking out midday afternoon across the wasatch across uh, parts of colorado it's snowing heavy up in idaho and wyoming and montana the pacific northwest and bc and then here it comes that heavy load of snow runs right through the wasatch into colorado 227 in the morning and then it's gone that's how fast it moves in. It's, it's just a, a really solid lifting situation with all our graphics, two pieces of energy, two different jet streams. All right, here's the next storm system. So storm number two, sliding into BC in the Pacific Northwest, 227, 228, and it takes its time. And that's why a lot of those totals are going to be so impressive up there in the Pacific Northwest. And by the time we get into the second of uh, March in the afternoon, even you can see the next storm coming, it's dropping south through California, and then it's going to make its move into the interior with another round of major snowfall. All right, let me just show you what the latest numbers are. I've got this afternoon, my latest grand totals map, rest of today through the second. So the numbers have grown in some places and they've decreased just a little bit in Colorado. You can see that just because it, a storm may be a little bit faster. But again, that's that's just this update. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Um, still looking at um, as far as grand totals there, 25 to mainly 40 inches throughout this period in the Wasatch. So basically two to three feet. Um, looking at about uh, two, two and a half feet um, through parts of the Tetons. Big snow in northwest Montana, one to two feet in Idaho. Looking at one to two, two and a half feet up in interior BC through Kicking Horse and Revelstoke. A lot of snow down through Whistler and Baker, Stevens. Look at Timberline and Bachelor. All those numbers are staying high in these updates. In California, you can get hit good, especially with that second storm as it dives south into the early days of March. We could be looking at uh, heavy snow. All right, let me break it down by period. Here's the first period. Not much going on. Uh, rest of today and tomorrow. Second period. We start to see the northern branch buckle to the south, brings that heavy snow into B.C. and the Pacific Northwest. That's 224, 225. Here's 226 through 228. This is when the door swings open. This is storm number one. So looking at about, about 1 to 2 feet in the Tetons, 15 to 30 in the Wasatch, 1 to 2 feet roughly in Colorado, some places uh, a little bit less, um, about a foot through Brundage, less in Sun Valley and Schweitzer, but uh, uh, about 6 to 12 up there through Kicking Horse, Revelstoke, Fernie, um, and, and a lot of snow through Washington and Oregon. All right, here's the last time period. 
This is 229 through 32. This is storm number two. And you can see it comes a little further to the south towards California and swipes the Sierra with two, three, four, five feet of snow potentially. Um, and additional heavy snow up in the Pacific Northwest, BC. You can see the numbers, another foot for the Tetons, another foot for the Wasatch. And given another day, that snow would likely slide through Colorado. So those numbers would go up on 3-3. Three, three. All right, let's go to the Northeast. Last stop. 222 through 32, um, nothing much has changed here. Pretty light accumulations. One to three inches of snow will likely do it. Again, a little late tonight, tomorrow morning, and again on 228. All right, we'll end on the grand total map here for this afternoon update. This afternoon's update. Anywhere in purple, again, is over a foot, and that's most of the major round, mountain ranges of the west. So we'll see what the trends look like tomorrow. It's, when you get into to these big storm cycles, it's always interesting to see how things change from day to day. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.